Today we're going to talk about the Glock 17. versus the Glock 19. Let's talk about which one is right for you. Welcome back to Class Farms, guys. Kai over here, and today we're gonna to talk about Glocks. Not just any Glocks, though. Specifically, the most widely used, purchased handguns, Glocks, out there. Glock 17 and Glock 19. Now, the purpose of this video is basically to tell you guys which one you should pick, because they're both very similar, but yet they have their differences. And if you're one of those folks like me, you just wanna buy that one gun, kinda of do it all for you, and this is a great video for you. Now. It is literally the most widely purchased and used handgun out there, like when it comes to Glock 17 and Glock 19. Glocks are obviously very well known, but specifically Glock 17 and Glock 19s. They've been in basically every country now. All the military out there, every country's military, the police forces, the civilians for recreational use, or obviously self-defense in movies. So they've been everywhere. So even if you're not into guns, you probably know about guns. So we're gonna talk about that. But before I do that, let me give you a little history about Glocks. Now Glocks, uh, Glock, the company Glock, was created by a gentleman named Gaston Glock back in the early, early 80s. Now, Mr. Glock had absolutely no firearms experience whatsoever. He he had expertise in advanced polymer, like advanced, advanced synthetic polymer, but he knew nothing about firearms. In 19, like 80, 81, right around that time, the Austrian military uh, wanted to ditch their Walther P-80s from the World War II era, and they wanted to get a new sidearm, something more modern, something more appropriate for the 1980s. That's when Gaston Glock went ahead and assembled a team of firearms experts and combined his expertise on the advanced synthetic polymer and came up with this first generation of Glock uh, models, Glock pistols, which is the Glock 17, generation one, and he submitted that to the Austrian military and initially it had some pushback because people are like, wait a minute, a plastic gun? They just didn't, their minds didn't work with that because everybody was very used to having that metal gun, right? But Gaston Glock absolutely nailed it because Glock 17 dominated the competition against multiple known brands like the FN, HK, SIG, and so on and so forth, and won the contract, all right? And Austrian military ordered 25,000 Glock 17s. So that was in 1982. And from there, the word spread like a wildfire, and Glock is the Glock as we know it today. And there is a reason for that, because it really is a very dependable, reliable gun. I know not everybody likes Glocks, but we gotta give it credit when it's due. They just work. So, anyways, so now let's talk about these guns. So I've got two of them in front of me, the Glock 19, and let me hold this one, and Glock 17. So if you look at them, there is right off the gate a difference, which is size. Now, Glock 19 is gonna have a four inch barrel, 17 is going to have 4.5 inch barrel, just half inch difference. When it comes to weight, Glock 19 is gonna have about 23 and a half ounces unloaded, about 30 ounces loaded, and Glock 17 is about 25 ounces unloaded and 32 ounces loaded. And when we look at their heights, now, Glock 19 is gonna be right around five inches tall, and Glock 17 is gonna be 5.5 inches tall. So if you look at it, the difference is not that much, but yet you can still see the difference. And the entire length of the guns, so Glock 17 is about eight inches in full length, and Glock 19 about 7.3 inches. Other than that, everything is basically the same. So going over some of the specs, which I'm gonna, there's just gonna be very uh, the same. The trigger is exactly the same. The hand guard, I mean, the, the grips are exactly the same. There's no grooves on generation five Glocks. And if you notice, these two don't have optics cuts right on top, they're just iron sights only. However, with the Glock on Gen 5s, you can actually get the MOS versions, which is uh, milled for a red dot, and they come with four different adapter plates. You can basically uh, slap on whatever red dot that you wish to throw on, or that you have. So there's that. Now, the difference is, 
let's talk about which one is good for you, okay? So do you guys wanna conceal carry? Now some people may say, you know what? For conceal carry, Glock 19 all day long. But does that mean you really can't conceal carry Glock 17? No, a lot of people do carry, but when it comes to conceal carry option, if you have to pick the, between these two, because there are other options like Glock 26, which is a nine millimeter, a much smaller version than 19, but we're only talking about Glock 19 and 17 in this video. So between the two, of course, Glock 19 would be an optimal solution or ideal candidate for concealed carry because it just is smaller overall, so it'll be lighter for you as well. Now, some folks got, you know, they're a lot bigger than me, they got bigger hands, and Glock 17 fits their hands a lot better, so it'll be a better option for them. But overall, for concealment, Glock 19, in my opinion, just wins all day long. So if that's what you're looking for, if, and, and I'm gonna get to why Glock 19 is actually pretty good for some other stuff too, but concealment, Glock 19 all day long. Now, some folks talk about accuracy. Now, if you, there's this thing out there, if you got the longer barrel, you're just gonna be more accurate. The barrel itself doesn't make you accurate, guys. It's really, um, it's the sight radius, and when the gun is a little bit heavier, it kind of gives you, theoretically, a little bit less recoil. So that'll uh, basically allow you to do, have better follow through, so in turn, more accuracy, right? That's just, between these two guys, it's gonna be very, very minute. So sight radius, let's talk about that between these two guys. Now, Glock 17 is about half inches, almost three quarters, right, of an inch, longer, than Glock 19, if you look at it like that. All right, so I've got them just like that for sights. Now, with that being said, the Glock 17 is gonna have a longer sight radius. And what, what's a sight radius? The distance between the front sight and the rear sight. So when you're aligning your sights, the front sight to rear sight, full sight alignment, because it is longer, you're gonna be able to more precisely align the sights. So the front sight, any inconsistency will be more apparent to you with a longer barrel so, or longer slide. Therefore, you're gonna probably be a little bit more accurate. Now between these two guys though, I don't think that difference is that great for us to be able to accurately measure that this is gonna, the Glock 17, because it's bigger, it's gonna be more accurate, which we're gonna test in a minute. And another thing that I wanna talk about is recoil management. Now. Some folks say that, you know what, Glock 17 is heavier and it's got a longer uh, barrel, obviously, longer slide, therefore it's going to have better recoil management, which we're about to test. And I would say, generally that's true. Technically it's gonna give you that, but is it something that you're gonna feel? I personally don't think so. In fact, I actually have a story to tell you guys about Glock 19 and Glock 17 before I actually get out there and shoot these things. When I was at the uh, academy in Quantico, I was issued a Glock 19 as soon as I reported to the academy. Now Glock 19 is pretty small for my hand. If you look at it, even though with the magazine inserted, it is, you can just see the, the meat of my palm kind of sticking out. And Glock 19, if we're gonna talk about the mag capacity, Glock 19's got 15 round mag capacity and Glock 17s have 17 round mag capacity. So 15 plus one, 16, 17 plus one, 18 round mag magazine capacity. So a couple more extra, is that worth it for you? Which in the end, you're gonna decide yourself after I run through all my personal thoughts. But anyways, going back to my story. So when I have this gun, you look at it without a magazine, it just is too small for my hands, right? So every time I would reload the gun, by the way, we've got ammo in here, but the guns are empty, guys. So anybody who's questioning, we we're not charging these guns right now. So when I reload, it would just pinch this area, if you guys can see. So bam, it would just pinch like that. And especially if I'm just doing a, a, an aggressive reload, bang, 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 and just going really hard, it would pinch. And it got to a point, it was so bad, I would have this huge blister here, and it would pop and I would just bleed at the firing line all the time. But I didn't want to say anything to my instructor. I just wanted to get through my uh, training, right? And one day an instructor saw me, he's like, hey, what's going on with that? Why are you bleeding? I was like, well, it's the magazine that just keeps pinching me. He looked at me, he's like, dude, this is too small for you. And he, he took my Glock 19 from me, came back and gave me a Glock 17, which is right here. Just, a, as I said, 5.5 inches in length right here compared to five inches on Glock 19. So now, 
I'll grab this thing and look how it looks in my hand. Good to go, guys. It is absolutely perfect. When I grabbed that 17, it felt so good in my hand. I was like, this is it. This is gonna actually help me a lot uh, shoot this thing a lot better. So anyways, so I got the gun and I continued my training. So I'm about two months into my training with Glock 19 and another four months with Glock 17. And we would always shoot and do about similar things like same qualification trainings, same bullseye courses, everything, right? And this is just live training. And guess what? Between these two guys, I had absolutely zero difference when it comes to my uh, felt recoil uh, management and when it comes to my accuracy. Precisely, I would shoot bullseye targets the same, like with the same score uh, with 19, Glock 19 and Glock 17. So there is that, that's my experience. So I really didn't have anything significant when it comes to recoil management and accuracy, but this may not apply to everybody. 17 fits my hand a lot better. So for me, I like this gun a lot, a lot better. But if you wanna talk about a dual gun that you can conceal carry, yet you can have it at home, I mean, I don't see how Glock 19 would be bad unless you have a much beefier hands than I do. But for everyday guys or gals, I would say a Glock 19 would be fantastic. But before I even go there, why don't we just shoot these things and you guys actually see it yourself if these things actually Glock 19 recoils more than 17 and also let's check my accuracy between these two see if I actually shoot better with Glock 17 and I promise you I'll try my best all right folks so what we're gonna do is test the accuracy of the Glock 19 and the Glock 17 as well as the recoil impulse of these two guns and see which one is more accurate if at all and which one kicks more if at all so I've got a target about 15 yards out freshly painted so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this mag, 17 rounds, and see how my shot placement is, and then do it the same with the Glock 19. So. All right, so 15 yards out, we're clear over here. Shot it pretty fast, so why don't we just check the target out? Okay, so I'm pretty much on target, pretty much all of it. I don't know, did I miss any at all, Ryan? Maybe I, one or two. Okay, yeah, because I, I, I didn't see. But I would say for 15 yards, Glock 17, pretty fast shooting. That's pretty accurate for a handgun with just traditional sights. Let's try it with the Glock 19. Are you ready? Yep. Three, two. All right, let's do the same with the Glock 19. I think I was just as accurate, but let's take a look at it. There it is. About the same rate of fire, same distance, Glock 19, same shooter, same conditions, same sights and everything. I think I only missed one. Uh, with the 17, I think I missed two. But I would say this is about the same accuracy. So there it is. And you guys watched the video. You guys saw it yourself. Did you see any difference on the recoil? Again, as a shooter, I don't feel it. But what I want to do right now is real quick, just do a one handed, just to show you the recoil uh, comparison with 17 and 19. And then let's go back to the bench. All right, folks, the accuracy and the recoil impulse test continues. Now what I want to do is I want to shoot it one handed. And I want you guys to see, because with two hands, of course, you can control the recoil a lot better, you can be more accurate, but let's take a step up a little bit and do it one-handed. So I'm just gonna be like that, and that way you can see the recoil impulse a lot better with the 17 and the 19. At the same time, see how accurate I can be with this. Again, the same distance, same target, C-zone, condense, C or I think it's C condensed C-zone target. So 15 yards, good to go. Let's do it, Glock 17, the Glock 17. All right. That 
that's it one-handed dry good to go i mean it does jump a little bit honestly i can control a lot better but i was trying to be accurate right so i'm trying to keep it on target kind of focused on that uh, hit so that's why it kind of jumps up a little bit more if i didn't care about my accuracy i could keep it a lot more steady but overall you guys saw glock 17 it's not bad at all when it comes to the uh, recoil impulse and when it comes to my accuracy i thought it was spot on so let's try that with the glock 19 which another cool thing about the glock 19 is guess what it accepts pretty much any glock mags right i got the glock 19 x magazine here which i will be talking about in a second here but let's go ahead and give it a try i have a feeling it's going to be exactly the same as 17. my accuracy is going to be the same recall impulse is going to be the same so let's do it That's about it. In fact, I got a pretty good grouping over there, which I think we should totally check it out. It's, it's just like that. I, I don't even know how I did that. Again, Glock 19. I think both times I was slightly more accurate with Glock 19, but to me, they're about the same. Good to go. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section. Did the, did the Glock 19 recoil more than the 17? Was I more accurate with the 17? Let us know in the comment section. Anyways, let's get back to the bench and give us some final thoughts. All right, folks, final thoughts. Now, some folks in the comment section, they're gonna say, hey, why don't you just buy both? I'm sure those comments are coming. And I would say, no, why would you? I mean, if you got all the money and you wanna do it yourself, it's up to you. But if you're looking for that one Glock that you wanna get for concealability or home defense or both, then I would say you need to pick one of these. And obviously for me, a Glock 19 will be that do-all gun. And why is that? As I said, you can conceal this thing, you can have it for home defense. You're not gonna have any more recoil impulse than the 17. When it comes to accuracy, it's gonna be about the same. So it's gonna come down to your hand size, which is about 98% of people gonna be just fine with this. Even with my pretty big hands, I can just easily use this gun, and I have. So I would say a dual gun, the winner would be Glock 19. Now, if you wanna spend your money and buy a bunch of different guns, I would still say you don't have to buy these two. They're about the same. Just pick one and spend the money on other guns. That's what I would say. A another reason why Glock 19 is a winner in my opinion is Glock 19 accepts 15 round magazine capacity magazines, right? These are short mags. But check what happens if I try to insert the Glock 19 mag into a 17. I mean, it's polymer. It's not in there, so I can just it just won't click because it's just too short however a glock 17 mag into a 19 it'll stick out a little bit but it'll lock in so good to go so you can pretty much use any glock mags or as long as it's nine millimeter right on a glock 19 so that's another plus for that again it's lighter it's just overall a do-all gun for me now besides that glock came up with a gun called glock 45 now if you look at this guy this guy is pretty much the same size of not pretty much exactly the same size as glock 19 when it comes to slides however let me try to show you look at the bodies see 45 is sticking out a little bit longer so with that being said a glock 45 is a glock 17 frame with a Glock 19 slide or barrel gun. I mean, some folks really like that. They like that short barrel. It works for them, but yet they've got pretty big hands. They wanna have that um, pretty comfortable grip and Glock 45 does the job, right? So there is that. And then we have this Glock 19X. Now this guy is pretty much like the 45 but it's not 
but it is. Uh, but it's not. I mean, you guys be the judge of this. This was uh, submitted for the military, for military contract. Obviously, they didn't get uh, selected. But uh, Glock decided to not make this anymore and make this. That's about it. But I, to me, they're exactly the same guns, just no serrations and not cut for MOS and all that stuff. But these are not the topic. But I just wanted to show you guys other 9mm options. And Glock also came up with a another Glock called Glock 47. Now that is the same for the same size of Glock 17, but yet the uh, frames this end is a little bit shorter, so you can actually use a Glock 19 barrel and slide, and basically turn that into a Glock 45. You turn your Glock 47 into 45, or just simply I think that the only difference is just from the factory is Glock 19 re, uh, guide rod recoil uh, spring. That's about it. I don't know, Glock is doing a bunch of things. I haven't fired that Glock 47. I guess when I do, I'll tell you guys if there's any difference that I feel, but as of right now, that's all I know. So I don't want to complicate this thing too much. So between Glock 17 and Glock 19, or the Glock 19, the Glock 17, which one would I pick all day long? Glock 19 for a duel. Personally, a 17 was obviously way more comfortable for me and it was issued to me, I didn't pay for it. I had that for quite some time. That's about it, what do you guys think? Do you guys own a Glock 19 or a Glock 17 or both? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section uh, if you prefer one over the other and why is that? That's about it. Anyways guys, uh, make sure to go to cfcontest.com. Good things happen there as I always say, if you're a veteran of classic firearms, veteran audience you know what i'm talking about but if you're new to the channel check out classic uh, cfcontest.com you're gonna really like what you see there anyways thanks for tuning in we appreciate your business god bless and we'll see you on the next one